Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold yourself the inaccessible boot device error you're coming across on your Windows computer. So, I can imagine this would be a frustrating issue, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys a few methods on how to hopefully resolve this problem without too much of a hassle. So, the first thing you want to do is boot into the Windows recovery options. So, there's a few different ways to do it. If you're able to get into your desktop, that's the way I'm going to show you guys how to do it to start off this video. However, if you're still having problems, you can try doing a hard power off three times in a row on your computer. So just hold in the power button three times, so let it boot on for a few seconds, and then just do a hard power off once you see the boot screen come up. And just repeat that three times in a row, and that should launch your recovery options. You can also try getting the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility and burn the Windows 10 ISO to a DVD or USB and then boot your computer from that and find the recovery options from that menu as well. So I just want to put out a couple of different methods on how to get into the recovery options. The most easy way for me to visually show you guys what I'm doing is to actually go through the desktop method. So if you're able to boot to the desktop, you want to go open up the start menu, select the power icon at the bottom left corner, and then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then left click on restart. This will take a couple moments to launch us into the recovery option, to which we're going to change our startup settings. But anyway, underneath Choose an Option, we're going to select Troubleshoot, Boost your PC, or see Advanced Options. Select Advanced Options here. Now, you want to go select Startup Settings, Change Windows Startup Behavior, and then select Restart. Now you want to tap the function key that corresponds to enable safe mode with networking, which in my case is the F5 key. So I'm going to just tap that one time. And now it's going to start booting us into safe mode with networking. So just give it a moment here. So now that we're in safe mode here, you want to go open up the star menu. So I'm just going to close out of here. Open up the star menu. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that. And then select run as administrator. Now you want to go ahead and type in CHK DSK space forward slash F then another space forward slash R, exactly as it appears on my screen here. Once you have it as it appears, you want to go hit enter on your keyboard. Type the Y key. And now you also want to go ahead and type in SFC, space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will take some time to run, so just please be patient.
Okay, so once the SFC is done scanning here, you want to close out here. Restart your computer should begin the check disk scan now, so we're just going to go restart our computer.
Okay, so uh, that's done. You would also be able to access some recovery options within that recovery window we were in earlier. And you can run some of the recovery tools that were in that window as well. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.